Flow cytometry is a technology that will allow you to quantify and qualify your cells or particles suspended in a fluid. Some of the benefits of this technique is that it's one of the fastest systems in the world. You can analyze around 40,000 cells per second. And when you are sorting physically these, these, these cells, you can get up to 99.9% .9 pure cells. And after this, they are still alive and they will keep all those characteristics. So you can do any other analysis with no problem. This technology can be applied in different organisms, from uh, microorganisms to plants, uh, animals or, or humans. And the most common uh, applications that we have for this uh, technology in, in the lab includes analysis of cytotoxicity, cell cycle, immunophenotyping. Our researchers have been using this technology in studies like biofuels or nanotechnology or cancer research and they have uh, successfully published in papers like uh, Nature Nanotechnology, Blood, Cell or Cancer Research. We provide also service to private companies like Radisson Diagnostics, uh, but also we are beta testing instrumentation for BD, Acri, Beckman Coulter or Chemomitech. Nutri Genomics Group at UCD Conway is interested in learning how nutrition impacts on health and disease. We do an awful lot of work in obesity and within that context we are trying to understand how adipose tissue or fat cells change. The flow team at Conway has been critical in terms of helping us develop technologies and techniques and approaches. Alfonso has helped us in terms of study design, training students, both postdocs and PhD students, and then helping us prepare the data in such a way it's going to be published in a very high impact journal. I've recommended it to a number of other researchers. You're not dabbling with a technology which is just too expensive and just too complicated to work unless you're a specific expert. The instrumentation um, within the Conway core facility has aided us a lot. So our research involves monitoring immune cell recruitment into adipose tissue during obesity. So after we've isolated the cells, we then label them with immune cell markers, such as those for macrophages and T-cells, and run them through the flow cytometer. So this allows us then to identify and actually quantify the distinct cell populations within the adipose tissue. So this allows us to actually analyse the analytes and the cytokines that are being secreted by the cells rather than just looking at the cells themselves. So this then provides us with a cheaper and much more efficient way to gain our information compared to the traditional ELISA. It's been very helpful to have Alfonso's expertise um, within the facility because he can then guide us through the results so he's always there and available to help if we're having difficulties. We always set up a problem solving uh, approach uh, for helping people to find the best flow cytometry solution for their work, for their research. Mm -hmm.